Now you're probably looking at the title of this video and either intrigued or wondering what is this crazy man going to waffle on about today? Well hear me out people. I believe and have some evidence to back it up that we are either going to be able to visit space within a base game of Cyberpunk 2077 or we might get a space DLC somewhere down the line. Remember guys if you enjoyed the video and want to see more hitting that like button truly helps. Out. Also before we go any further I am giving away copies of Cyberpunk 2077. To be in with a chance of winning one drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. I will announce winners the week before this game releases on November 19th. So from more or less the very start of the trailers we have seen from Cyberpunk 2077, space as well always being there and kinda teased. Now within the world of Cyberpunk, space and exploring space is actually a massive part of the lore and Cyberpunk's history. The lore goes deep with many instances, just one is Deep Space, subtitled Take Cyberpunk to the Final Frontier and this is a source book for Cyberpunk 2020 and is the follow up to 1989's Near Orbit. The book follows on from what was established in Near Orbit and brings a timeline up to the year 2025. People in space have become more widespread with the emergence of the corporations in the upper atmosphere, all in search of knowledge and resources to get the upper hand. The first chapter of this book gives some history on Earth and its status in the year 2025, as well as a selection of maps of the solar system and Earth's spaceports. Equipment such as weapons and vehicles are detailed in the book, as well as the new hazards of space and the different factions vying for control of space. We also know people there are bases on the Moon and Mars, also with orbital travel being a thing within the Cyberpunk universe. We know it's a possibility. On the Moon known as Luna, we have two major cities, which I won't bore you with all the details on them, but you can read up about both cities on screen now by a brief description of them and what's going on up there. Two permanent cities exist on Luna, Taicho and Copernicus, both controlled by the ESA. Taicho had a population of around 18,000 by 2025 and Copernicus with a population of around 12,000. So these are quite big cities up there and both of these cities were constructed underground. Their construction required blasting and nuclear powered heat smelters to form park like caverns, eventually being topped with smelted lunar sand pressure domes to provide air and recycling. But guys, we've also colonised Mars, with details you can see on screen now. So yes, space and exploring space is a possibility. But does that mean within Cyberpunk 2077 that we will be able to go into space? And will it be within a base game or will it come with a DLC? Well people it looks promising as it's been teased a few times, most recently within the 2077 install trailer, but let's start from the beginning. So within the gameplay reveal from way back when, when we as V are walking through the crowded streets of Night City, we hear a Japanese announcer speaking, take a listen. Now what this actually translates to is, Orbital Air provides you a comfortable space journey, when you travel, please use Orbital Air. Now Orbital Air is actually advertised on many billboards throughout Night City, and we also know that Orbital Air is actually a part of the map, so it's a place it seems we will be heading to. Now within another trailer, the official E3 2018 trailer, we see this, where it looks as though we're actually travelling on a rocket ship in space, where the dude in the background seems to have some kind of short circuit. But this is definitely in space here people, but it doesn't end there. We got another glimpse at space within the latest 2077 installed trailer. It was only for a split second, but it's definitely there to be seen. So within this scene of a split second we see space and what looks to be a space station. Now for those out there who know about the space law, do you guys think this could be the crystal palace behind him? I mean the crystal palace within what I've read and seen within the law has five levels. This doesn't seem to have that many, I mean it could be crystal palace and things might have changed but either way Whatever this space station is, it looks pretty big and in my opinion it's definitely been put into this trailer for a reason. But yeah guys, like I said, the ties are there, the hints are there, the laws there, the history is there and they're showing us within these trailers. So you tell me, do you think we will be able to travel to space? Do you think we'll be able to do it on a base game or do you think we'll eventually get a space DLC? Let me know what you think down below people. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next.
Bwana. <tune>